So every day I'm waking up trying to get better individually, but you don't know when you're gonna get together as a team, so it's been a very tough adjustment for me through this COVID, but I've been really trying to read and educate myself on what can I do. Yes, I've read mental skills books and motivational books and just things that have helped me in the past, but as an elite athlete, you want to change and always try to get better. If I do little things like that that help me find motivation in some way, shape, or form, then it's going to help me prepare when we get together as a team again. We're going to go skating at my hometown rink by myself, which I've been doing now for about two months. I have the same feelings always when I drive there because I'm, I try to get myself mentally prepared for the training I'm about to do. So I'm not wasting any time out there and I'm getting a really good workout. I'm on the ice four to five times a week, especially in season. I still try to just work my butt off and have a great attitude when I'm doing it. I think work ethic is my top priority in anything in life. If you work hard towards something, then at the end of the day, you're probably gonna be successful. And I think working hard drives competition, and that's why I still play this game. I love going out there and just trying to be the best that I can be and just putting together everything that you learn and practice where when you step on the ice, you don't have to think about it. It just flows because you know that you put the work in. Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? One, two, three, four. Rollerblading is much harder to me than skating on the ice because there's so much more balance involved and you can't stop like you can on the ice. I just try and do long distance, probably try to go 10 miles and just rollerblade, stay low as much as I can. But then sometimes I'll just do short sprints, making sure I'm doing a lot of quick crossovers and working on my balance, one leg. It does help with my core strength and balance. I also have a shooting area. I have a plastic whiteboard where I'm stick handling and shooting, especially as a defenseman. When you're on the point, the more that you can work on your shot and quick release, the better you're gonna be. That's one of my goals always, is to making sure that my shot is improving every single year. I try to get my body around, but I try to work on this as much as I can. Just walk, shoot. The quicker the release, the less time the defender has to block the shot. Being in my mid-30s, it's very interesting to be playing still at this level. I know age is just a number and that's the kind of mindset that I go in, into. But at the same time, I want to prove to people that you can still get better with age. COVID um, definitely threw a wrench into the training aspect. If you're an elite athlete, it doesn't matter. You figure out a way and that's how you become successful. Okay, welcome to my home gym. Um, I take a little pride in this. I've been setting kind of this up since my parents moved here and I came here in June. It's definitely a work in progress, but I got home and I know I didn't have a bench or a squat rack, so I needed to make my own. And I did it. I got some plywood, Gorilla Glue. This was the bucket I got from Home Depot and I just bought cement and put it in here and added water, mixed it around and put in the plywood and left it overnight. The hardest part for me was cutting these slits and I, I did it so blue collar, but it works and it's kind of got me through the last three months. Being to three Olympics, hopefully going to a fourth, that's gonna be my most important aspect of training is just to make sure my body is always on top of it. I'm doing whatever I can mentally and physically to be on top of my game. Come here, over here. You stay right there, okay? I definitely have a lot of interest in life besides hockey. Writing is something that I just find therapeutic. I started writing poetry 10 years ago. The most unique thing about poetry is it's not right or wrong. I can just say what's what I'm feeling in my heart and it started free flowing from there and I wrote a book. It's a culmination of different poems of nature, uh, my family, hockey, relationships. Writing's been a huge part of my career and I think I've learned it throughout failure, but being able to write down my goals, my dreams, not just saying, hey, I wanna win a gold medal, but what are the little goals 
this week or this month or this year that I want to accomplish. And for me, being a great role model for young girls is the number one priority. Hi, how are you? Good. Good to see you. We have free ice. Come out here as long as we want. We can do whatever Maybe you skate? Want. Yeah, skate, stick handle, pass. Yeah. All right. I won't be playing hockey forever, neither will my teammates, but the little girls that are striving to play hockey, make an Olympic team, we're trying to create a life for them to be successful. If they take a moment with me and look at my medals. How does it feel to have three Olympic medals on? Pretty good though, right? Have that feeling of inspiration, that to me is worth it. And it's a lasting feeling for them, but for me as well.